I lost my husband, my son, my uncle, my nephew, on September 11th, 2001. Most people don't know a third tower fell that day. The government says fire brought it down. The collapse of World Trade Center 7 was primarily due to fires. I, along with 1,400 other architects and engineers, have found the government's conclusion to be physically impossible. This is Building 7, a 47-story skyscraper that fell on the afternoon of September 11th. The government says that fire brought it down. However, 1,500 architects and engineers concluded it was a controlled demolition. I'm a structural engineer. I'm a New York City correction officer. I'm an Air Force pilot. Well, I'm an architect of 20 years, mm -hmm. member of the American Institute of Architects, and have been studying steel-framed, fireproof buildings uh, for about that long. Fires in high-rises have never brought down a steel frame high-rise building at all, ever. In the case of Building 7, it collapses straight down into its own footprint at free-fall speed in the there, first the hundred feet. It's dropping, as you can see, symmetrically, smoothly, at free-fall speed in the first hundred feet, two and a half seconds. This is uncanny. There's 40,000 tons of structural steel designed to resist this collapse. World Trade Center 7 collapsed because of fires fueled by office furnishings. It did not collapse from explosives or from fuel oil fires. Here is a 47-story skyscraper. At 5.20 in the afternoon, it drops like a rock, and I mean this fast. Free fall acceleration, straight down, uniformly, symmetrically. Now, a building with 40,000 tons of structural steel cannot fall straight down without all 80 columns on each floor being removed simultaneously and then synchronistically timed floor by floor. The CIA had an undercover office in Seven World Trade Center. A U.S. official tells CNN the office was involved in counterterrorism and counterintelligence. For the third time today, it's reminiscent of those pictures we've all seen too much on television before when a building was deliberately destroyed by well-placed dynamite to knock it down. And I turned in time to see uh, what looked like a skyscraper implosion. It looked like it had been done by a demolition crew. The whole thing just collapsing down on itself. We heard this this sound that sounded like a clap of thunder. Well, it looked like there was um, a shockwave uh, ripping through the building and the windows all uh, busted out. It was almost as if it were a planned implosion. It just Pancaked. Pancaking almost like a precision implosion. Ironically, the building had housed the city's emergency management office. I don't know whether it was, whether it was uh, accomplished by uh, demolition experts. Watching an old building being demolished, and they wired very carefully for days, and it's a very careful operation in order to make sure that a building comes down safely. That's what it looks like happened to Building 7. I certainly am much more open-minded about it than I was, and it is because of the involvement of the 9-11 families and all these engineers and architects. This is Building seven in the World Trade Center uh, area is is collapsing uh, now whether uh, we don't we, we don't even know whether this was uh, something that was uh, engineered for safety reasons or it just happened can you confirm it was number seven that just went in yes sir uh, and you were you guys knew this was coming all day we had been had we had heard reports that the building was unstable and that it eventually would either come down on its own or it would be taken down. We all thought for sure a bomb was set to explode underneath our feet outside Seven World Trade Center. It was a, an abrupt, total and complete collapse at the speed of free fall. They told us Building 7 was coming down. I do believe that they brought Building 7 down because I heard that they were going to bring it down. Did they actually use the word brought down and who was it that was telling you this? In the fire department. and. Um, they did use the word we're gonna have to bring it we're gonna have to bring it down. Right now we've told that uh, seven World Trade uh, building is being evacuated. You got to stay behind this line because they're thinking about taking this building down. Building seven came down. Many emergency vehicles making their way into Manhattan, including one thing we see if we show the video here: so a demolition truck carrying construction equipment. That okay? That equipment is going towards presumably down to uh, downtown. We are getting information now that one of the other buildings, Building Seven in the World Trade Center complex is on fire and has either collapsed or is collapsing. The 47-story Sullivan Brothers building 
situated very close to the World Trade Center, has also just collapsed. More on the latest building collapse in New York. You might have heard a few moments ago, I was talking about the Salomon Brothers building collapsing. And indeed it has. Tell us about the Salomon Brothers building and its collapse. As you can see behind me, the... Uh... Presumably there were very few people in the Salomon building when it collapsed. We are getting word from New York right now that another building has collapsed. I understand that this is a 47-story building. On a Tuesday. That uh, information, of course, take a look at that right-hand side of the screen. It's going down it. right now. There it is. Yep. It went down right there. I remember getting a call from the uh, fire department commander telling me that they were not sure they were going to be able to contain the fire. And I said, you know, we've had such terrible loss of life. Maybe the smartest thing to do is, is pull it. Uh, and they made that decision to pull, and then we watched the building collapse. World Trade Center 7, the leaseholder of the World Trade Center complex, Larry Silverstein, he said that they pulled that building, which is a demolition term for intentionally bringing down a building. I remember it was, it was in danger, and I think that they made a decision based on the danger that it had of destroying other things, that they did it in a controlled fashion. We've got to rebuild seven World Trade Center, and we've got to do it fast. Next thing you know, we've got the designs of a building. And the first design meeting was in April of 2000. And construction began shortly thereafter in 2002. We're backed by 9-11 family members and other concerned citizens who are calling for an independent, unbiased investigation. As an engineer, I have three degrees in engineering. I signed that petition for architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth some time ago because the American people absolutely need the truth of 9-11. I'm a family member trying to find out the answers to the murder of 3,000 plus people. It's distressing for everyone to come to terms with this evidence, but we must pursue the truth wherever it leads. Look at the evidence and decide for yourself. Of course, our focus is on the science of what happened. We want to know how did 400 structural steel connections give way every second during the seven-second freefall collapse of World Trade Center 7.